What's up YouTube? Man, I'm back. I know I've been on hiatus for a little bit, but look, I'm back with some more goodies for y'all. Got a brand new headset in here. This is the Mixter. You know what? Is it the Mix CDR or Mixter? We're gonna call it Mixter because I can never get it right, but it's the MS301s. A couple of y'all have actually asked me to try these out, uh, either because you heard them and they sounded nice or um, you just wanted me to try them first and give you my input. But I actually review and love the Mixter, uh, I think these are um, the Share Me 5s. These are great headphones, man. Me and the wife took these on my trip uh, to Cancun. Hey, check out the video of me in Cancun, man. Me and the wife, it was an awesome video. But these headphones are great on the plane. We actually watched a couple of movies um, on the plane to and from. And with, with these, they have this feature where you can actually um, listen to the same audio. And if you have this exact same pair or a, a, Share, Me, um, a Share Me technology headphone, you can actually listen to the same audio and control different volume levels. And that was nice because these headphones actually sound really good for music. Um, and of course, you know, if you watch movies and shows like that, but it's nice not to have those wires dangling everywhere. And I love them, small, compact. They fit my bag nice and easy. Didn't take up too much space. So if they made such, if they did such a good job with these headphones, I had to see what these 301s were like. So let's go ahead and dig into this box, man. It doesn't have a seal on it, so let's just go ahead and pop that open. Man, I didn't cut my fingernails and oh, cut them to the nub. Anyways, I show this box a little bit of respect. Let me see, open it up. All right, not much in there, but we gonna still respect this box. We got a manual, user manual. <sighs> These aren't these ain't supposed to have no special features, but I'm gonna keep this. I'm not gonna throw it away because <laughs> I might need it for something. Oh no, let me see. We got a little box in here. This must be your cables and stuff. Y'all gotta excuse me, man. I ain't got no fingernails. All right, uh, let me pop it out. There we go. All right, open this one up. Yeah, these are your wires. Put that to the side. You got your micro USB and you've got a standard 3.5 millimeter cable nothing special about it okay good all right and then you have the piece de resistance you got let me put this to the side i want to have a whole bunch of mess here bring my phone because i'm gonna need that for my bluetooth all right so man these are they're very you know what these are lightweight but you know what they're lightweight but they have a it's like a quality weight you know you can feel that that heaviness from the metal that's in here because they have this um i don't know what this is some type of polished metal right here on the side holding this on holding the uh, ear cup on and let me see it's actually yeah it's cold so that's metal right there and let me see going on the build quality now i like the headband the headband is a nice vinyl material it's kind of a it's that, it's that super soft type of vinyl, but it's plush on both sides. So, and it, it doesn't, I mean, the, the sides are rigid, but it's very plush on both sides. Got a little mixed of branding right there, not overly done. I actually like when companies do stuff like that. Um, the ear cups. Ear cups look like miniature pillows, man. Like, <laughs> these things got to be soft. It's the same type of vinyl carried into the ear cups, nice and plush. It's got like, I don't know, it's almost like a memory foam, but it's real plush in there. And of course, just in case you didn't get out of the kindergarten, you got your right and left uh, uh, labels right there. Let me see. I think these are like 50 millimeter drivers. Let me see if they if they show it. Um, ah, 40 millimeter drivers. Okay, so these big old drivers in here. All right, build quality. Uh, there's nothing much as far as build quality. I mean, they feel sturdy. Now, I do like the fact that they swivel in and out. DJ style. No, that's not DJ style. I like the fact that they swivel in and out, but they also fold up. So, I mean, you shouldn't have any problem storing these in any case that you get for them. You will have to get a case because there's no case in the box. But uh, let's go around here and see what's on the on the side here. We got your forward and back track buttons. Skip around. We got, that's probably a mic or maybe even an LED. And then we got a power button right there. Uh, your 3.5 millimeter input. Um, another mic or LED. We'll find out when we turn them on what these are. These might be noise cancellation. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> There's no noise cancellation in here, but man, it's got a lot of pinholes. So this is probably an LED right here on this side by the power button. That just makes sense. And then one of these is probably a mic and this is probably to block out some noise or something. I have no idea. But then you got the same type of stuff over here. This must be a, a charging or another power LED. We have to figure this out in a second. But uh, as far as how they look, I actually like them, man. They look classy. They they almost remind me of uh, the Blue Dio vinyl a little bit. Um, let me see here. 
yeah but they feel real good in the hand i love the way that they fold up multiple ways so you just put them on your neck have them out like this now put them on the right way first of all yeah so you can fold them up like that if you kind of want to just blast them out a little bit fold them down and then when you're done with them you can just fold them up and stash them away all right let's put them on the head Whew, yes yeah that's some comfortable vinyl and did i stretch them at all i don't think i stretched them at all so they they okay it's got a tactile adjustment to it so you can actually stop at different notches it's not labeled one through ten or nothing like that but you can feel each notch and i actually like that there's some uh, aluminum right there or so maybe that's some steel right there um but on this side it's plastic where the notches are so since i got this tiny head sometimes i feel like my hair is too small for my body man <laughs> but yeah they fit perfect just like that on the head and let's fire these things up and see how they work out let me play me some music man let me see power them on i'm assuming you press and hold the power button okay you got audible prompts power on okay uh let me see here okay we are connected mixers ms301 like they don't play no games with that all right so put them on my head okay we got a blue led right here it's flashing any more leds okay i'll bet you that this is the word when you charge them i bet you that's a, like a red led and a blue led to let you know it's either charging or fully charged or it'll probably just turn off once it's fully charged and these other two pinholes are microphones of some sort because you can uh make and receive calls on these so let's put these on my head let me see what i was listening to last oh <laughs> hey what y'all know about digital underground man i was listening to i don't know i was you know following the tupac story and then i got into shock g then i went into this whole uh digital underground tupac thing and now i was listening to uh the humpty dance and in that sex packets uh <laughs> that, that that whole digital underground uh that first album that they came out with so you know what i'm gonna go ahead and bump this uh digital underground real quick let me see baby oh let me crank this up let me see hold on oh, oh i don't see volume button so maybe if you hold it let me see all right so if you just Okay, so if you short press the forward and back track, it actually controls the volume. So it just, you know, just a quick push, it'll turn the volume up or down. And to skip the tracks, I'm assuming you hold. Okay, yeah, so if you long press, it skips in and reverses the track. And if you short press the, the track button, it turns it up all the way. So let me jam out to this, uh, this Humpty Dance real quick. Let me see how the bass sounds and the mids and all this other stuff, let me see. All right, I ain't gonna play this. I ain't gonna play Humpty Dance. I'm gonna play uh, Freaks of the Industry. Yeah, that's my jam. Hold on, let me crank this up. Mm -mm. It's got a lot of bass in it too. Yeah, we're the Freaks of the Industry. All right, let me play one more song. I like these headphones. yep okay all right i've heard enough hey these are good man hey these are not bass headphones uh there's plenty of bass in here but on sex of the on uh freaks of the industry i was expecting that big bass drop um i didn't get the big huge bass drop like you would find in some you know bass geared headphones right but you can hear the bass and it's blended well with the total sound of the headphones it's actually a good clean sound almost like a home system where it's not like you know where you're just listening to music and you're not like just having the bass turned all the way up it's, it's good bass in there trust me the mids and highs i like the way they shine in here uh they're not muddied up by the bass so that's nice they actually stand alone and you can hear them the lyrics uh and the instruments the, I, I heard the drums and everything it's a nice clean sound in here hey they did a good job uh with the sound in these headphones and those 40 millimeter drivers but um 
As far as build quality, they definitely stepped it up from pretty much anything I've seen on the internet and especially these right here, because these are predominantly plastic. Yeah, they, these are all plastic, but there's a lot of metal in here and they just feel more comfortable and definitely feel premium, man. I think these are good. these are actually worth the money, man. So if you're looking for a good set of headphones, good overround sound quality, not overpowering bass and not muddied up uh, highs and mids, I say get them because, I mean, they're pretty versatile too. I mean, if you got a case already, that uh, is, is one of those big cases that has the headphones laying flat, they're good for that case. If you got a case where you can actually, uh, or a pouch or something where you fold them up like that, they're good for that pouch. And they actually have a nice clean look with not too much branding. I do like that, how these actually look nice and adult. But anyway, I ain't never claimed to be no expert in this kind of stuff. I'm just jamming digital underground on my new headphones. Look, tap on that like button and smash on that subscribe button and I'll see y'all at the next video.